Hey howdy, it's me, slightly less medicated manic mark, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the art villa and somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. Coming to you today early, this is the pre-Thanksgiving, not Friday records and today's records sharing with this, this stack of records <clears throat> uh, because most of you are probably going to be in the Bahamas or um, someplace nice. Um, apparently, should I start over? I just you know, completely lost my track. Do I have anything interesting to share today? What's this doing on the ground? Uh. No, I'm still experimenting with the electrical zapper. That's right. I think it uh, benefits depression, but not anxiety, although there is anxiety setting. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, <clears throat> let's go right to the records. Why not? Should I add another, a little more, a few more records to the stack of records? Uh, I don't even know what's in here. From the thrift, actually Goodwill. No, I just said I don't go there, but I went there and, and found a few records. Cocktails with Cav Cavallaro, Cav Cavallaro, Carmen, Cavallaro. <laughs> Jesus. I've got this one, but this one will make a nice... See, sometimes I buy things just because, oh, I don't know when I bought the other one, then I need a better scan for the blog, right? So that'll be... It's, it's, and it's a nice cover. Uh, I don't think I've got this one. Dance to South Pacific, Les Brown. Ooh, there's a picture of Les on the back. Oh, please. I don't think we've ever seen a photograph of him. Hmm. That'd be fun. It's Bill Black Combo Plays All Timers. And super budget on Fontana. No, it's Fontana. And his orchestra on Master Seal. He's Fontana's playing a tribute to the fabulous Dorsey's. Right? Oh my God! It's the Kingsmen. Try a little kindness. Oh, oh my God! Received by the Kingsmen's May twenty third, nineteen seventy one, at King. Fish after being through waitress or witness. Don't know. Music of Cole Porter. It's Andre Castellani. Tits. <laughs> That's so much fun down here. It's hard to believe that I lived long enough to see. Ten years now. I've been doing a little more than just long enough. The Shearing Touch, I've got this one, but this is the full dimensional stereo copy, <laughs> so it's got to be better, right? Oh, my God. Um, this is curious. It's, I think it's an import. It says 1963 on it, but it doesn't look that old. It doesn't have any age on it, really. Oh, but I picked it up anyway. Uh, it was Mancini, Prado, and Al Hurt together. It's kind of a flimsy cover RCA. I can't, I can't really figure out. Tell, oh, it is. Made in Germany. It's German. <laughs> the Queen of Honky Tonk Street, Kitty Wills. This is a fun kind of artsy fartsy cover. So I picked that up. Kitty Wills. It's music by New Yorker Words by Rod McEwen, the San Sebastian Strings for Lovers. That's quite a collection of Oh, okay, here we go. This is fun. Right, sam uh, sample something from this. Share a sample from this. High price, full price, super high price books. Ten feet of records, nothing. And then just uh, out of nowhere, it's Gene Rains in this group, The Call of the Tropics. Gene made two, three, three, I think. Really fine, exotic albums. Uh, it's, it's kind of obscure. I mean, you know, people like Bart Denny and Arthur Lyman and, you know, probably may not know about him, but he made 
three, three, I think, really good exotic records. That'd be one of them right there, I do believe. The Gospel Couriers in concert. Out of Lexington, Kentucky. Young and Foolish, Somerset Strings with Dick Willie Brantz. <laughs> An epic, oh my god. Ooh, more shrink wrap to throw out. The music of Bert Camfort and So to Bed. <whistles> Herbert Rabin and his orchestra. So it's uh, Bert Camfort tunes done by Herbert. You know, that guy. Okay. Fun cover, it's ooh, Thrill, Cabal, Cabal, Eva, Ski, Sweet, <laughs> the comedians, oh well. Bought for the cover on tops, oh my god. <sighs> Henry Machard and his orchestra, music from South Pacific, Oklahoma and the King and I, My Fair Lady, for dancing, Cadence Records. That would be great. Ooh, yeah. Actually, I might uh, uh, sample something from this. It's Boss Baroque, the Carmel Strings featuring Larry Kentjol. It's a cover of The Beatles Yesterday on this. Hmm. The Rangers, Billy Strange and Buddy Prima. Oh, very curious. I bet that's going to be a lot of fun. And just because it's a great cover on Cornet Records, Italian Sing Along. Terrific cover. Senor Swing, Pete Galadoro with the Surrey Latin Brass. Wow, Surrey. Don't know what I'll find on that. I don't believe I've got this one, but just in case, probably got four or five copies of it, just in case I don't have the stereo copy. <laughs> Actually, it's a pretty good record, as I remember. Oh, yay, another one. This is so much fun. It's Burley Shells from Hawaii by the Waukee Keys. MCA Records. Nice cover. Speaking of nice covers, don't usually buy Christmas albums because... Eh. It's the International Choristers, Christmas favorites. It's Cat. In stockings, cats in Christmas stockings. A terrific cover. And, ooh, that's, okay. and speaking of just fun covers on uh, Cornet Records, it's Oklahoma. Wow, that's some typeface they got going on there. But it's a fun, colorful, exciting, graphical cover. Ooh, and last but not least, it's more shrink wrap. <sighs> Ben Franklin in Paris. What? Songs from Ben Franklin in Paris. Oh, Gold Boy. There is. Broadway. That's what I was. I had to think about that for a while. Moon is like that. She understands what you're saying, but she needs to think. She needs more time to think than a human being, most humans. So you tell her to do something, and she's like, hmm. Should I do it? And then she does it. She just has to think about it. It's the Wine Coat Orchestra and Chorus. Wow. Oh, two tracks on each side. Hmm. Never know. Never know. Never know. <laughs> so I was doing my yoga today in the empty room. <laughs> I actually do have a story. Dude, I didn't even talk, think I told, did I tell this story? I probably did. Part of it does. Uh, and so there's this young mother, 34 years old, she did yoga with me for a, a number in the class. And um, she saw me go in there, I guess, came in to visit with me. It was very nice for her, very sweet. You know. So we're just talking, she said, go to the steam. Oh, we were talking about uh, sore muscles and stuff like that. So it's nice to have a steam room here, you know, like the Whirlpool, I described some of my recovery. Um, instruments, the paint I've done, the, the massage gun, and talk about uh, going to get massages and 
she's got a frozen shoulder and I got a shoulder and so we were, you know, trading stories. And, and that led to the steam room. Oh, well, you know, my husband says there's, and all the men go in naked into the steam room. And I said, he's is exaggerating. In the men's room, everybody, most guys are extremely modest. There's a story. Very modest, most. And more modest than I am. And I'm, you know, mo pretty modest. When it comes to nakedness in, in public. So. So that led to the story that I told about the kid. The kid, remember the kid that, oh, jeez. I walked into this kid in the steam room, and he was rearranged his shorts, and I go, oh, what is he doing? And I think he knows what he's doing. And if, he's, if, he's, if I sit down, he's going to be really embarrassed. He's going to just run out the door, and he did. And then I, I sat there, they did my steam, and went out and got in the shower, didn't think anything about it, and I got out. And there was a shower going on the other side, and they didn't see anybody around. The curtain was closed. But you, there's strong lights and you can kind of see shadows. I didn't see any shadow. Like there's nobody in the shower. But then I saw the kid's shorts and then I saw the curtain do this. And, and then I realized he was laying on, on the bottom of the shower, you know, pleasuring himself. So I can't believe all that, that conversation led into me telling her about that stuff. So it was interesting. She said, well, couldn't he wait till he got home? And I said, well, you know, when you're young and a young man... Sometimes it's just the, the overwhelming urge is just conscious. I wasn't like that when I was young. I'm like, oh, I don't know. So I thought about yelling like fire, going to the door and yelling fire, like everybody out of the building. I told that story. So. But, you know, uh. then she told the story that she was in the, in, in the, in the sauna, and, and uh, it, it was like, and then this old woman came in, over woman, and opened the door and shut it and went around and, and, and got the management to come in. And they said, somebody said there were 16-year-old girls in here. And they said, well, thank you very much. I'm 34. And that was her, her story. Not exactly as suggestive as mine, but... So it was a very nice conversation. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> Hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. And you're going someplace or somebody's coming to you and there's some fellowship involved, which is nice. I think I like Thanksgiving. More than I like Christmas, I think. Although the Christmas is good because there's usually ham. Usually ham and scalloped potatoes, and that's that's good. Christmas is good for that. Alright. Thanks for stopping by everybody. And now on to the musical sample. <laughs>